Hi, Donna. We could not let you go out under the radar like you always wanted to. I always knew I'd have to write a speech about you one day, but I just never wanted that day to come, but here we are. So here's a little tribute to you. Having students enroll in a class during high school, a class unlike any other they've taken before, a class that not only motivates them towards a career path, but sparks a new love for learning is what Donna Shara has done for the countless number of students in our school. Kids never having been exposed to a subject like accounting, especially at the collegiate level, find themselves wrapped. Thank you, Donna. Because of you, we've had hundreds of students major in accounting in college. We are deeply grateful for your initiatives, your clear and unwavering intention to create a department we could be proud of, a department where students love learning about all aspects of the business world. From intro to op to fashion merchandising, from electronic information processing and information technology, from business law to personal finance and accounting, Donna has taught it all. All of us have heard students admit that personal finance has truly been the most invaluable course in their high school career. But a class is only as good as the teacher who believes in it. Since 1993, Donna has committed to imparting her beliefs in her students, and her course's value and relevance. Donna's impressive expertise, unwavering passion, and leadership talent in both our department and the classroom have helped create a family in our business department. With a vision for creating an enriched environment where students would not only be expected to adhere to the very high standards and rigor of Donna's reputable college accounting class, but also enjoy their hard work. Donna has cultivated a noble culture and is leaving behind a legacy. 27 years ago, Donna and I were hired together and endured a writing sample, group interview, demo lessons, sharing a mutual ignorance about what the heck were we getting ourselves into. Fun fact, we also share a birthday. While our backgrounds could not be more different, I find it remarkable that all roads led us to Farmingdale and for this I am thankful. Donna has truly been the ideal coworker, a kind-hearted mentor, a big sister, a helpful colleague, supportive friend. Whether she's giving me advice about marriage, if you're not going to get divorced over it, it's not worth fighting over, she says, and I should listen to her more often, or ordering supplies for our department, the extent to which Donna's service, dedication to Farmingdale High School, by the way, she was also a graduate and she taught accounting in the same classroom that she took accounting as a student. And a deep sense of responsibility towards her students is exceptional and inspiring. Even if I pop into Donna's class to ask a kid to set up a remind for Business Honor Society, they look to Donna for permission before taking out their phone. Donna's integrity in the classroom is legendary. She will work you bell to bell. You are expected to move at an accelerated rate. You will not be distracted by phones or other adolescent nonsense, but you will receive. What Donna gives is more than can ever be measured. An impeccable work ethic, a strong college ready foundation in accounting, a sense of accomplishment and pride in overcoming academic challenges. And you will also get to know a woman who no matter what will have your back. I could tell you silly stories of our first endeavors to supervise students in Rochester in the early days of FBLA and then later DECA, and how in an effort to get too many kids to the hotel, we overloaded them in vans and shoved them into taxi cabs, stuff we could never get away with today. But the truth is, Donna is reserved. She is not the attention-seeking, center stage type, always out for a laugh. She has taken her calling to be an educator seriously. She deserves to be honored for being the perfect liaison for administration, for her quiet dignity, for her admirable character, and for raising two wonderful, self-sufficient children who possess gracious qualities and are decent, moral, kind-hearted people. Donna, I love you. I will miss you here at work greatly, but I wish nothing but enjoyment and good health in your retirement. I hope you get to travel the world and enjoy time with your grandchildren in the future. Best of luck to you. Hi, Mr. Scherer. This is Heather Doyle. I graduated in 2015, and I took your personal finance class while I was there and absolutely loved it. 
It taught me a number of things that I still use today and will always use in my future. It also helped me pick my career path that I went into. I went on to major in business administration and finance in college, and then also went on to get my MBA. I work as a financial analyst at Northwell Health now, and I have to owe part of it to you. You were the reason why I went into the career path that I did. Um, and I wish you the best of luck in your new phase of life. Congrats on retiring. I hope you enjoy it. So, uh, so I'm going to make this short and simple. Uh, Michelle, thank you for everything you've done for us. And your teaching has been, it's been an honor to learn from you. And I wish you the best of luck later in your life. And just my favorite memory of you is basically whenever I did something right, you just encouraged me and said good job. And to a lot of people, that wouldn't mean a lot, but to me, that meant a lot coming from you. So thank you and good luck. Bye. Hey, Mrs. Shara, this is Lauren Lujitis from the class of 2009. Please excuse my whole quarantine look. <laughs> I remember sitting in your college accounting class my junior year thinking to myself, damn, I can really see myself doing this for the rest of my life. Growing up, I've always wanted to be a teacher, but your class changed that so-called dream. In 2013, I graduated with both my bachelor's and my master's from St. John's University in accounting. Shortly after in 2014, I also began my career at a mid-sized firm. After countless busy seasons and plenty of sleepless nights, this diehard baseball fan found her home and landed her dream job in the accounting department of the New York Mets. Whoever said accounting can't be fun was clearly mistaken. I have your class and teachings and fundamentals to thank for that because I wouldn't be where I am today without it. I wish you a happy and healthy retirement and all your years ahead. Once a Daler, always a Daler, and let's go Max. Congratulations on your retirement, and I just want to say that you've made accounting so easy and doable because it is a challenging class, and I didn't think I would do so well in this class, and I did, all thanks to you. And I also want to point out of how much of an amazing teacher you've been, especially during these hard times. You've made the work so doable and easy to understand, and you've been nothing but helpful, and I think you're one of the best teachers to have during this time and all around. So thank you for everything. Hi, Mrs. Shara, it's Joe Cambria. I just wanted to congratulate you on your retirement and thank you for all your accounting courses offered at Farmdale High School. Your courses inspired me to major in accounting and it set a nice foundation for my career. I wish you all the best and hope you and your family are healthy during these times. sure is retiring soon and you know I just want to say big thank you uh you know it's been a wild ride for the three years and it's been you know it's been amazing having such a great teacher for all three years of my life so far in high school and I couldn't ask for a better teacher teacher thank you so much for a great three years I was hoping I could have you a fourth year or at least come by and visit um thank you so much and, uh, I hope you have a great retirement and I hope you live lavish and you have a great life My favorite bits of the class is college accounting. Uh, I love working with numbers and problem solving in college accounting as we do that and Mr. Rude, great teacher. Uh, in college, I plan to major in computer science and would like to attend uh, University of Texas in Austin. I'm Ms. Sherrod Tabika. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for giving me one of the best experiences of a class all through her high school. I genuinely enjoy going to your class every day first period, and I learned so, so much. So I really appreciate that. Um, I just got amazing vibes from you and your class, and just the way you taught it was so nice. I learned something new every day and was not stressed 
at the least. So I'm really happy about that and I had a great experience for a wonderful teacher and we all love you and appreciate you. So thank you so much for everything. I really hope you made the most of your last year and um, you did, I did end up choosing accounting as my major actually. So um, I'm really excited for my journey, but I owe it all to you to start for starting me off. So thank you so much for that. And yeah, I wish you the best and uh, we love you and stay safe. Thank you, Ms. Sherry, for teaching me and inspiring me to major in business administration. Best of luck to you in your future. Hey, Ms. Sherry, um, it's great to me that you retired after 27 years of teaching. You know, I had you for three years in a row, and I'm loving you all. And each year, I, I like you even more as a teacher, and you always like brought out the best aspects of you. Personal bias when I first had you and just like when I really fell in love with like that whole entire type of education. And in accounting I had you in eleventh grade as well for accounting and uh, made me realize that it's something that I uh, I love to do. You didn't like you didn't only teach me accounting, you taught me something. something that I want to wake up and do every single day, even though to, to the, like, the random person it's like, wow, that's boring, but to me it's like, it's just so fascinating. It's, I just, I love the end of the college accounting and it made me love it even more. It like, gave me a challenge and I, it's what I love doing. I didn't know had the first period. I never dreaded that class. It made it fun, which is crazy. You. I don't know how to even replace you because you can't be replaced. Because you, as any teacher, you had the most effect on me. And um, for that, I, I thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. Because it's just like, I know I keep saying this, but like, you, you affected my life a lot. Obviously, because now I, I realize what I want to do for the rest of my life. And it's like something that like, I can't give back to you and I hope you enjoy your retirement and I hope somehow they can find someone that is half as good as you to teach those kids because I wouldn't have wanted any other teacher for personal finance accounting or college accounting for all three years. I loved every single bit of it and I loved learning that information. So I just wanted to say thank you and all of Farmerdale, the whole entire community will miss you being a teacher, especially those kids next year. Hi, Ms. Schroeder. Thank you so much for being my teacher for personal finance last year. I enjoyed your class a lot. It was a lot of fun. And uh, I will definitely use that information in the future. Hi, Ms. Schroeder. I just wanted to send this video and say congratulations on retiring from Farmingdale and Tia. I also wanted to make sure I thank you for being such a great teacher when it came to accounting and mentor um, for business in general. I remember when you brought in, I believe it was your son, um, to really explain what accounting in the corporate world was like. And even when we were in the college accounting course my senior year when you had focused on not just the books and tax laws and stuff but you also took the time to focus on the memos and how important those were you were 
also part of the reason I got my first internship at PwC my freshman year in college. And even when I changed my major and started focusing on other business avenues, I still look back at a lot of the things you and everyone else in the business department um, had taught me to kind of help with what I'm working on now. Um, so again, I just want to say thank you and I wish you all the best in the year to come. Hi, Ms. Michelle, congratulations on your retirement. Thank you for choosing to be an educator and giving so many of us such a great foundation in accounting. I remember visiting Malloy College while I was still a senior at Farmingdale and sitting in on a class where they were going over their accounting midterm. Um, the professor had um, asked this question about um, one of the problems that a lot of the students had gotten wrong and, and no one was really answering the question, but I remember sitting in the back of the class and knowing the answer um, thanks to the two accounting classes that I took with you. Um, and I think that really gave me the confidence to choose a school and um, the accounting uh, field as a major um, throughout college. And um, this set me off into the direction where now I work at the Federal Reserve. Enjoy your retirement, well deserved, and thank you. Hey, Mrs. Shara. George Andriopoulos, class of 97 here. 25 years ago, I sat in your Intro to Occupations class in 1995, and you forced me to join the Future Business Leaders of America Club. And look at me now. I'm a current business leader of America. Just kidding. Uh, congratulations. Happy retirement. You deserve it. Sorry the year didn't end as we all planned, but what are you going to do, right? Congratulations and enjoy it. to say thank you for all that you've done for this department and also for our kids. But uh, again, as you know, one chapter ends, another begins. This book could be titled My Days at FHS. We didn't realize it was going to take you this much time to get out of this high school since 10th grade. But the last chapter of the book, it's been a great one. And when you think the impact that you've had on so many young kids, probably over 2,000 people or young people, and you've helped hundreds of kids launch their careers in accounting been an excellent lead teacher steering the department through many transitions. I'm really looking forward to enjoying many more evenings together with you and Bill with no shop talk. No shop talk. I hope that you enjoy this chapter of your life. And as Carol and Bill start their families, maybe the next half of this book will be called The Best is Yet to Come. But again, I want to thank you for your, for your guidance in the department and all that you've done for our kids. Thanks. Donna Sure, this is like my third time recording a video. I'm trying to get under 30 seconds. It's really hard. Congratulations. Uh, well deserved. You've been a great teacher. You've been a great coworker. The kids love you. We love you in the department. You've been a model teacher, consistent, professional, knowledgeable, friendly. Um, thank you so much. I wish you the best in your retirement. I'm going to miss coming in the morning and comparing notes about who slept the least the night previous. About to find some other insomniac. Um, I'm going over 30 seconds. Doesn't matter. Congratulations. When the uh, world gets back to normal, please travel. Please enjoy retirement. All the best to you and Bill. Take care. Donna, I can't believe the time has come for your retirement. This is definitely not the way we wanted to send you off, but we hope that you still see just how much we appreciate you and how special you have been to the Farmingdale community. I truly look up to you as the mother that you are, the wife and the teacher and true professional. I'm going to miss you so very much as you are completely irreplaceable but your legacy will live on forever at Farmingdale and the accounting program that you had built within our school. Good luck, and I can't wait to hear all about your adventures in retirement. 